Black people, you said, only people in the United States ever explicitly forbidden to become literate. I am now officially speechless. Tonight, we are gathered here with you, our literary community, to celebrate the best we as artists have to offer. In service to that end, we must have a National Book Awards that reflects the full depth and breadth of the human experience in all its diversity and complexity. Some of you know I grew up in rural Alabama, very, very poor, very few books in our home. And I remember in 1956, when I was 16 years old, with some of my brothers and sisters and cousins going down to the public library, trying to get library cards. And we were told that the library was for whites only and not for colors. We must pursue the goal of seeking out and honoring the voices of writers whose contributions to our culture have too often gone unrecognized. But I had a wonderful teacher in elementary school who told me, read my child, read. And I tried to read everything. I love books. There can be no excellence in our national literary identity without those voices that have too often been excluded from this stage. Without those voices of the disenfranchised, the underserved, and the unjustly maligned, whatever excellence might have been achieved was at best Compromised. As I wrote more, my focus widened. I understood that I wanted to write about the experiences of the poor and the black and the rural people of the South so that the culture that marginalized us for so long would see that our stories were as uni universal, our lives as fraught and lovely and important as theirs. This is a life's work and I am only at the beginning. At the National Book Foundation, we believe that black lives matter. It's such a futuristic idea, a world in which the descendants of slaves become poets. We acknowledge that one of the great gifts of this moment is the recognition that the struggles of black Americans, both now and of generations past, have served to make us all more free. But what I do have the power to do is to say, you won't enroll me in this lie. You won't make me part of it in our civic life. You looked at me, at the people I love and write about. You looked at my poor, my black, my southern children, women and men, and you saw yourself. You saw your grief, your love, your losses, your regrets, your joy, your hope. In our art and in our culture, we also acknowledge that inequities in culture and in books can do real material harm, and that the power this organization wields to shape this nation's literary tastes and trends means that we must bear this in mind always. Every single time I meet a reader who looks at me and says, I have never seen my story until I read yours. I am reminded of why this matters and that it's not gonna be an award and it's not gonna be an accolade, but it's gonna be looking someone in the face and saying, I see you and in return being told that I am seen. We must strive to remain a home for black voices, writers, creators, and artists, and use their example to mold the National Book Foundation into an institution that celebrates and represents the full scope of what we as a people have accomplished. And I'll never lose my faith that you and I can create an anti-racist America where racial disparities are non-existent, where Americans are no longer manipulated by racist ideas, where black lives matter. We have a lot of work ahead of us, and um, I'm so proud to be part of a community that at least thinks like that. We know that the world wouldn't be complete without all of our stories in it. Tonight, when we say that black lives matter, let us say it as acknowledgement of all those deserving writers and by extension readers who previously have been excluded from this room. Be kind everybody, um, make art, 
and fight the power. Let us say it with an awareness of these voices, their value, and their ability to show us a way forward out of our current darkness. And let us say it in gratitude for that which will come as a result, a literary community as life-giving, rich, and as varied as the stories we tell. A community of which we can all be proud. A community which unequivocally understands why Black Lives Matter. And that there is no American literature without the voices of the disenfranchised, the undocumented, the marginalized, and the unheard.